Since 1974, search and rescue operations have been run from 771 Naval Air Squadron of RNAS Coldrose, and from 1988 onwards, the Seeking Helicopters with their symbolic Ace of Clubs insignia have been patrolling the skies of Cornwall. Now, after the squadron was stood down from search and rescue duties on the 1st of January 2016, the familiar red and grey Seeking Mark V helicopters will be decommissioned in March. Lieutenant Commander Richard Callum is the current commanding officer of 771 Squadron. He talked about the handing over of the search and rescue duties to the Civilian Coast Guard Agency in Newquay. It was interesting. Everyone was very buoyant. Uh, it was quite excited to be finally handing over uh, the primary role of the squadron. Um, but of course, uh, underlying that, everyone was quite sad to see the end of uh, quite an illustrious career. But what are the memories of the crews who have been a part of so many dramatic rescue missions? There are lots of rescues that stay with me. Um, many too perhaps gruesome to talk about. Um, lots of uh, fun rescues, lots of unusual rescues. Um, I think what really stays with me most of all is, is the, the crewmen and the pilots and the rest of the squadron that have uh, helped me with those rescues. Um, just the general um, ethos we have on the squadron, the, um, the camaraderie between everybody, we all get on really well. Um, and the fact that obviously the aircraft go out and save lives um, is always going to be memorable. Um, maybe Boss Castle is one that's memorable when we all got called in to send aircraft up to uh, rescue the people there. I think it's the same as yeah, I mean, working anywhere, it's the people. Um, yeah, and uh, been uh, you know, very privileged to work with some fantastic people over the years. I've been fortunate enough to do this five or six times before. Uh, on each occasion, it, yeah, it's the people that, that have made it. Any ones that stand out? No, not really. Um, actually, a cow. We saved a cow off the side of a cliff. Um, and quite a few engineers got involved with that because um, it's an underslung load. So, no, it's the odd ones. No, it's the strange ones, like the cow on the side of the cliff. Um, and, yeah, and hearing about babies being born in the back of the aircraft. Since 771 disbands in March, the personnel talked about their futures. Uh, for me, I'll go on to a staff job, um, to a different challenge uh, in that, We're working for a battle staff. Uh, but after that, hopefully to get back to flying in good time. Uh, I'll go on over to 849 uh, Squadron, end flight, where I'll be working on the Skazak fleet of Mark 7 Seekings. Uh, we're all going to move on to other things. Um, I've still got a little bit of time left, so uh, I'm moving on to something which is fairly new to the, uh, to the, to the life of the military and with the uh, um, unmanned aerial vehicles. So it's a good time for me. You know, to, I'm coming towards the end of my career, but I'm getting to do something new again. Though the Sea King will soon be gone, its legacy will stay present, not only with those who were rescued, but with those who flew them, who described their time in the aircraft. Oh, it's a fantastic aircraft to fly. It's one of the last uh, pilot's aircraft. It's all analogue, uh, nothing modern in that at all. Designed in the 1950s, and we've just kept it going uh, year after year, so six decades worth of Sea King. So for me, it's a fantastic aircraft to fly. Fantastic. I've flown in um, Mark IIs, Mark Vs. Uh, Mark IVs and now Mark VI's and, and it, it really is a stalwart of uh, the fleet air arm. Um, I flew in the precursor to the, the Sea King, the Wessex Mark V, um, and when the Wessex went everybody was sad about it. Sea King took over and filled its boots uh, fantastically well and it, it is really sad there that the Sea King is going but like all icons it has to go, it's reached its time and we wish it farewell. Even though the iconic Sea King will soon disappear altogether, Cole Joes will continue to carry out military exercises with the Merlin helicopter. Whether you're um, you know, in the pub or you know, down in the local post office, um, it's always a pleasure to turn around and say, you know, I'm a member of 771 Squadron. So many people have got so many great stories. Uh, and even when you go down the beach, and it always gave me a sense of pride to see 771 over the beaches uh, and everyone wave. You know, I was a member of the public waving up. Uh, so um, it's just it's awesome. You know.